Hi, I'm Graham from Minnetonka Audio, a part of the Telos Alliance TV Solutions Group, and welcome to this tutorial for Audio Tools Workflow Editor. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how you can run workflows created in Workflow Editor in Telestream Vantage via the Vantage Audio Tools connector. For this to work, you must have the Workflow Editor software installed on the same Audio Tools server system that the Vantage Audio Tools connector is installed on. This is to ensure that all of the underlying jobs and other files used by Workflow Editor are present. You can, however, configure the export on a separate system if required and simply move it across at a later stage. So here I have a profile that I've previously configured inside Workflow Editor that I wish to control via Vantage. The first thing that we need to do is to check the workflow settings to make sure that they are compatible with how the Vantage Audio Tools connector operates. As you can see, this workflow is currently set up for watch folder mode, which would not be compatible with the way the Vantage connector works. So we should start by switching the input source to file mode. You don't need to worry too much about the temp directory or output directory locations as these will be overwritten by Vantage. I would recommend that you disable any options that affect the state of the source file though, for example delete source file on completion or the to move source file options as file handling operations such as these are usually handled directly by Vantage itself and having these handled by Audio Tools server could impact on other parts of the wider Vantage workflow. You could still use the localized source file option though as this creates a copy of the source and doesn't actually touch the original asset. The other settings can be configured however you like. I'm not going to go into these here so let's apply the changes and close this window. Okay we're now ready to export so after saving the changes I'm going to go to the workflow drop down menu and choose export. We now get the option to choose where we want to save the exported workflow. If you are doing this on the same system that the Vantage Audio Tools connector is installed on, you may find it easiest to save the file directly to the Vantage Audio Tools custom workflow directory. However, if this is not possible, you can save it to any location and simply copy it into the ATS custom workflows folder at a later stage. We now need to give our file a suitable name. You will see that when we click on save, a little pop-up window appears confirming the export location and the file name, which can be useful for verification purposes. Having exported the workflow to the Vantage Audio Tools directory, we're now ready to close Workflow Editor and switch to Vantage itself. Before we do this, we should restart the Vantage Audio Tools Windows service. This is required so that Vantage can refresh its list of installed Audio Tools workflows, otherwise the new workflow will not show up. Quickly moving across to Vantage, you can see that I have dropped an instance of the Audio Tools module into a Vantage workflow and then selected the Audio Tools custom workflow plugin option. Clicking on the custom workflow drop down inside of this, I can see that the exported workflow is present in the list and is therefore ready to use. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. For more information or other tutorials, please visit our website. Alternatively, email us at ATS support at